Star projectors Pray into the ceiling God can help us Hey Angels, what's up? It's your girl Alicia and I'm here today with another video. Welcome to the Angels Academy, a God-ordained safe space for men and women to heal, to be vulnerable, and to grow into the fullness of God. So if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Alicia. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button, come over and join the family. If you are already one of my angels, you guys know I love you so much. And without further ado, let's just dive right into this video. Hey angels, hey family. So I'm so excited to be here with you guys today. Happy Sunday, happy Sunday family. I hope you guys are doing well. Let's just take a second to invite God in because you guys know we do nothing here without God. So dear Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you and praise you for your mercy, your grace and your protection, Lord Jesus. I want to thank you, Father, for all it is that you do for us each and every day. I ask that you use me today, Father, whatever it is that you want me to speak to your people. Use me today, Father. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Comment down below. Amen. So I know it's real. Glory be to God. Hey, family. So how are you guys doing today? Comment down below and let me know. Check in. Check in, family. You guys already know how we do this thing. Comment down below. Sis, I'm present. So I know it's real. Get your Bibles. You guys know we got to get the Bibles out, right? Comment down below. Sis, I got my Bible. So you know it's real. Glory be to God. So... I'm so excited to be here with you guys today. I hope you guys can hear me really good. And um, the kids are actually chilling right now. The day started off a bit chaotic. I said, the devil trying to get busy this early in the morning. I'm going to have to burn the oil out. Glory be to God. But everything is actually going okay. Devon is on the grill right now. So he's cooking some chicken and stuff for the kids. So I'm grateful. So I said, you know what? I need to come and I need to talk to my angels. I need to talk to my family because, you know, we haven't had a little hoorah in a minute. Glory be to God. So I was actually spending some time with God and meditating on the word. And um, I kept hearing all hell is breaking loose. All hell is breaking loose. And I was like, oh, my goodness, what is going on? What is my angels going through right now? Glory be to God. And what God was just saying is that you are walking through a season where all hell is breaking loose, right? I feel like you're experiencing a lot of people that is coming against you right now. And I feel like you don't really understand why things is the way they are. And right now, you even feel like life is against you, right? Like, I feel like you're in this space where you feel like nothing is really working out the way I would like for it to work out for me, right? And what God is saying today is don't allow your current situation to take center stage in your life, okay? Because I feel like whatever it is that you're going through right now, it wants to take center stage. It wants to be the number one priority right now. But God is saying you cannot focus on this thing, right? You cannot put this thing at the center of your entire life right now. You just can't. You can't. So I always tell you guys not about how you feel. But it's about how you function. So what God is saying right now is that this is the time where you want to have to be really particular how it is you're functioning right now in this season. The Bible tells us that the suffering of this present time is not worthy to be compared to the glory that is being produced. Glory be to God. And what God is saying today is that all these things that you're suffering, all of these hard times which you're going through right now, it means nothing compared to what God is about to do in your life. The glory that he's about to release on your life, the blessings that you're about to walk into, this suffering means nothing, okay? Y'all ain't even tell me I had something on me. The shade. <laughs> the shade. The shade. Glory be to God. So listen to me, family. What God is saying today is just stay strong, okay? Hold on. Somebody comment down below. Hold on. So it was so crazy the way God showed it to me. The way God showed it to me. Let me see if I can explain this thing to you the way God gave it to me. It's like a bridge, okay? Let's just visualize this being our bridge. This is you and this is God, okay? And literally, this is like the bridge to purpose. Glory be to God. And the thing that is connecting you and God is all of the trials and tribulations that you've been going through. Glory be to God. This is that connecting point. And it's going to allow you, all of those trials and tribulations is going to allow you to get closer and closer to God. And the way God is showing it today is like all of these things that you've been going through is, is leaving a trail. Glory be to God. Somebody comment down below. That's my footprints. <laughs> Glory be to God. Because I'm seeing like footprints. Glory be to God. Like, like all of this is for a reason to get you from this point to that point. This is the way God showed it to me. So 
those trials and tribulations that's right here, y'all, this is all of your suffering, right? This, this is that divorce that you went through. Glory be to God. This is you being homeless. This is you being raped and abused. This is you being bullied. This is you losing everything, okay? Everything. This is all the things that you've been struggling with. All of those times where you felt inadequate and you feel alone. Glory be to God. All of the pain and suffering that you've been going through. This is the bridge to purpose. Somebody comment down below. I got to get over this bridge. So, understand family if you are watching this video today and you are under the sound of my voice well all hell is breaking loose in your life don't run glory be to god don't retreat somebody comment down below don't quit don't quit somebody needed to hear that today make up your mind that you are going to trust god more than ever stand on his word no matter what glory be to god know that you are going to win comment down below i'm a winner i'm a winner glory be to god okay so how can i put this um the moment that you became a believer, right? You became Satan's arch enemy. Listen to what I'm saying to you guys today. And this is simply because you've decided to turn away from the darkness and turn to God's kingdom, right? Turn to the heavenly light. Glory be to God. So now you will find yourself in a spiritual battle. Now, although this is a battle that you did not choose, right? You still have to fight and you have to wage war and fight this battle through faith. So listen to me, family. Think it not strange. Glory be to God. Think it not strange concerning the fiery trials, which is sent to try you. But I hear the Lord saying today, rejoice because God is going to be revealing his glory in your life. I just feel you just mounting up, right? I just feel you with like this exceeding amount of joy. If this is your word, I don't know who this word belongs to, right? Just comment down below. Sis, this is my word. Like, sis, go ahead. Continue because this is my word, right? So what you have to understand is that what is actually being tested is your faith. Somebody comment down below. My faith is being tested, right? This is why for some of you, it may seem like the bottom fell out of your life the moment you made a definite decision to give your life to Christ. Now, all of a sudden, all hell is breaking loose. I even feel spiritually some of you guys saying like my life was so much easier. My life was so much better before I got saved, right? Like no money problems, no real issues. Everyone seemed to like me. Everything seemed to be great. And then the minute I decided to get saved and give my life to Christ and try to do this thing the right way. Now, all of a sudden, everything is going wrong, right? All of a sudden, you having all these money problems. All of a sudden, you losing friends and family that's supposed to be in your life forever. All of a sudden, relationships is going haywire. All of a sudden, somebody comment down below, all of a sudden. Listen, this is just lies of the enemy. Understand what I'm saying to you guys today. Your life wasn't better. Your life wasn't better that way. It's just that at that time, you belonged to Satan, right? Because you was doing things of this world, he owns you. He owns your soul. So then it's like when you choose to live for God, you come up off that worldly path and decide to do things the right way. This is when you're going to start feeling that heat. This is when you're going to start feeling those attacks. Somebody comment down below. Welcome to God's army. So the things that has been showing up in your life as trials and tribulations, these things are actually spiritual battles. Listen to what I'm saying to you guys today. Not against flesh and blood. But against principalities and spiritual wickedness and high places. But guess what? You are not in this battle alone. Somebody comment down below. I'm not alone. You are with God. You are with Jesus, with the Holy Spirit. Listen to what I'm saying to you guys today. You have a host of mighty warrior angels that has been assigned to defend you and protect you and the body of Christ. Listen to what I'm saying to you guys today. I believe God sent me here to tell you guys today that this is what you don't know. There are more for you than against you right now. And most importantly of it all, glory be to God. Somebody comment down below, sis, what is it? This battle has already been won in the name of Jesus. So God led me over to Ephesians 6, 10 and get over there, family. We got to read it. We got to read it together. I got my Bible. Okay. Comment down below if you got yours. And I got to read this to you guys. Can I read it to you guys? No, I love to read to you guys. It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities against powers against the rulers of this dark world against the spiritual wickedness in high places glory be to god this spiritual battle that you're going through right now is a real thing somebody comment down below it gets real in the field 
So when the enemy is coming against you and everything is out of control, the enemy is assaulting you. Okay. Understand that your faith is being tested. His assignment is to do everything in his power to make you doubt and to make you question and give up on God and his word. Listen to what I'm saying to you guys today. Even Jesus was tempted in the wilderness and challenged, but he never wavered in his faith toward God. No matter how much Satan tried to tempt him to sin by distorting the word of God and offer him all the riches in this world, if he will bow down to him, he remained strong and he remained in absolute faith. And he gave the true word of God back to Satan again and again and again. This is what the Bible says, family. This is what God expects of us. And the Bible tells us that Satan could not break him. Somebody comment down below, Satan, you will not break me. Glory be to God. James 1, 2 reads, family, consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. So what is God saying, sis? What, what is the Bible saying? What God is saying is that get excited. Glory be to God. If you're going through trials and tribulations right now of any kind, consider it pure joy you should be like yes god yes god i'm going through something right now do this thing god glory be to god this is when god is going to show up when your faith is being tested this is how you develop perseverance this is how you develop that strength to be able to endure through these tough times so that anytime satan throws something your way is nothing but a walk in the park is a piece of cake because you already know that the battle has already been won so all though right now all hell may be breaking loose in your life listen to what i'm saying to you guys today it may look like all hell is breaking loose right glory be to god it may seem like you are currently sinking right now in the situation that you're in it may seem like you're going under you're going to lose God has failed you. Glory be to God. You might even feel like right now, you know what, God? I'm just finna throw in the towel. Somebody comment down below. Hold on. Hold on. I hear the Holy Spirit saying, this is not the time to close up the shop. Glory be to God. This is not the time to go back home. Oh, Jesus. Glory be to God. Holy Spirit, move. This is not the time to pack your bags. Glory be to God. What God is saying today Fix your eyes on me. Glory be to God. Fix your eyes on my word right now more than you have ever. Glory be to God. Speak the word of God over your situation today, over your life, over your family. Do not doubt the Lord. Glory be to God. But have expectation that God is about to move on your behalf. I just felt that spiritually. I heard somebody say, as well, sis, it's easy for you to say. Glory be to God. You might be thinking, you know what, pastor, <laughs> this might be easy for you to say. Glory be to God. But honestly, you guys have no idea what it is that I've been through. Glory be to God. What is it like to be on the front line for the Holy Spirit? Glory be to God. The reality is that as long as you walk by sight, you will lose and you will fail always because Satan is the master of manipulation. He's going to always manipulate your emotions and manipulate your feelings. This is why I tell you guys, don't ride off of emotions, okay? The worst place to be is in your feelings. Because what God wants for us to do is you have to be able to look behind what it is that you can see with your natural eye, what it is that you can feel when you're going through these tough times and suffering, what it is that you hear when Satan is telling you lies. Glory be to God. You have to put God and put the word of God first place in your life. When you speak God's word over your life in faith, something magical happens, guys. It, it, it literally pushes the power of God into life, which supersedes and changes your situation. God led me over to Isaiah 55, 11, and I got to read this to you guys. Come on, y'all. It says, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Glory be to God. Since what is God saying? I don't really understand what God is saying here. Listen to me. What God is saying is that the word that comes out of his mouth. Oh, Jesus. I just heard Chris Tucker say, do you understand the words that is coming out of my mouth? Glory be to God. This is what God is saying. 
The words that comes forth out of his mouth, it should not return void, which means they must do what it was sent to do. Whatever God sent that word out to do, somebody comment down below, it shall prosper. <laughs> Glory be to God. God is saying this word will not come back empty. It will not come back unfulfilled. Glory be to God. It must happen. This thing must prosper, say if the Lord. I love this verse. This verse tells us that God cannot lie. We serve a God who cannot lie, right? Speak God's word over your life, family, no matter what it is that you're going through right now. Pray in faith, despite what it is that you see, despite what it is that you feel, despite what it is that you hear. I feel that God is about to supernaturally move in your life. Somebody comment down below, divine intervention. Divine intervention. That's, that's what I kept hearing. This divine intervention is going to allow you to trust and believe in God regardless of what you see. So family, if you're watching this video and you're under the sound of my voice, understand that in these times where it seems like all hell is breaking loose, where it seems like things is just not working out for you, right? And, and your faith is being tested. God allows your faith to be tested, not to hurt you, but to make you stronger. Glory be to God. Although right now this situation may feel really painful, it may be hurtful for you you may not be understanding how could this possibly make me grow glory be to god but it's going to help you grow in your faith it's going to help you grow and boost your spiritual endurance so that you're able to endure more during tough times and it's also going to give god the opportunity to show you that he is god do you believe it do you believe it can you have faith and trust him to show up on your behalf because God loves you, okay? He will never leave you nor forsake you. He had already won the battle for you. Somebody comment down below, the battle has already been won. So listen to what I'm saying, family. As long as you don't doubt, glory be to God. As long as you don't quit, somebody comment down below, don't quit. And as long as you keep the faith, glory be to God, you will see this win show up in your life, in real life. When all hell breaks loose, family, trust God. Somebody comment down below, trust God. Because now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So although you cannot see this thing yet in the physical, it's already happening in the spiritual. And you know what? God is just so good. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. It, it just made me think of Job, right, family? They said Job was blessed, very blessed man. He he was an upright man, right? Blameless before God. Glory be to God. He feared God. He turned away from evil. Job was a man that you could trust, right? They said Job was so blessed. He possessed 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 yoke of oxen, 500 female dokies, so many servants. Glory be to God. Job was blessed and Satan came and tempted Job. Glory be to God. He wanted to test Job to see what he stand 10 toes down for God. And that's what he did. Listen to me, family. Job lost everything. Everything. The devil wanted to see if Job lost everything. Well, he cursed God. Listen to what I'm saying to you guys today. Just put yourself in Job's shoes right now. Job lost sons and daughters. Job lost sheep, animals. Job just lost everything that he had, everything that he possessed. Glory be to God. Listen to what I'm saying to you guys today. They said Job tore his robe off, shaved his head, fell to the ground and worshiped God. Glory be to God. They said that Job said, naked I came from my mother's womb and naked shall I return. The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So although Job lost everything, just imagine losing your house, losing your car, losing your crib, losing your friends, glory be to God, losing your family, losing your job, losing everything in your life, right? And just imagine falling to God on your hands and knees and, and not being that person to say, God, why me? Why am I going through this? God, why did you allow this? Cursing God, glory be to God, instead of trusting in him and having faith in his plan, Job dropped down to his knees and still in that moment was still loyal to Christ and said like, you know what, God, you bless me with all these things. So if you've decided to take all these things away from me, Lord, God bless you. God bless your name. You know, that says, Lord, I love you and I trust you regardless. This is a prime example that bad things don't only happen to bad people. Bad things happen to good people too. Bad things happen to people that's doing the right thing too. This is why I tell you guys to do the right thing when all the wrong things is happening. That shows who you really are. That shows God. That shows the love of God, the Holy Spirit within you. That shows your character. 
This shows who you really are, right? When your back is up against the wall, when you don't have nobody to depend on, when you don't have no money to your name. Let's see what you're really about. Let's see who you really are. Will you go to any length to do anything? Will you hurt the people that's close to you? Will you step on top of people to get to the top? Who are you? Glory be to God. I love what the Apostle Paul said, y'all, in the Bible. He says, what then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for all of us? How will he not also with him graciously give us all things? Who shall bring any charge against God elect? It is God who justifies. Who is to condemn? Jesus Christ is the one who died more than that, who was raised, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed is interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? What God is saying today, family, is that in all of these things, all these things, who can come up against you? God is saying that you are more than a conqueror. I had to take a look at this situation. I said, well, this is crazy. I said, what is this? I said, Lord have mercy. I said, the, the Bible said that Job went from being the greatest man to the least of men. Glory be to God. And I had to really look at the story. And what I found out, family, was that. Because of his godliness, Job was permitted to pass through this test, through this trial, right? God permitted this testing and Job was unaware that his troubles were a great honor. Who am I talking to today? What God is saying to you guys today is that rather than fainting, getting weak, getting weary in the day of adversity, glory be to God, God encourages his people, call upon me in the day of your trouble. And I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. This is Psalms 50, 15. I love you guys so much. I'm not sure who this word is for, but comment down below, sis. This is my word. This is my word. If the Lord used me today, comment down below. God is real. Glory be to God. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video out with all that God leads you to share this video out with. And don't let the devil trick you out your spot. Listen to what I'm saying to you guys today. Those trials will come. That suffering will come. That adversity will come. But you will make it through this. Glory be to God. I love you guys. Stay strong. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, angels. Mwah.